going on guys welcome back to bundle racing today we're going to do a bit of a project walk around in the uh, in the shed um yeah basically what i'm going to do is going to run through the three cars that i have sitting in there and pretty much tell you what's going on with them so uh yeah let's get into it all righty starting with plague all right it is a vuss ute it has a six liter out of a 2010 VESS. Uh, it's had a little bit of work done to it, so it's not quite standard. Um, as you can see right there, it's running a Carby. Um, reason I went Carby with it is because at the time I didn't have a loom or computer, um, and I figured that Carby was going to be a little bit easier for me to set up, especially putting it into a, uh, a VN, which is what it originally was in. Um, so yeah, it's got a quick fuel brawler race series 750 double pumper carby sitting on a Edelbrock LS3 uh, Victor Junior intake with a one inch spacer. Um, and moving down, it's got a Texas Speed BFD cam. Um, it's a LS3 cam. It's, designed, it's uh, Zach from Hoonigan's signature cam. So uh, it's called the Chop Monster. That's why it sounds so, so good. Um, it has... Dual, uh, dual valve springs, titanium retainers, uh, new push rods, LS7 lifters, Melling's high pressure oil pump, and a dual row timing chain. Um, behind that is a power glide, um, originally built by someone in Victoria, I'm not quite sure who it was, but it's been inspected by uh, the, the guy that I get to build my trans, Nord Automatics. Uh, Grant's cracked it open, recased it for me because when I got it, I had a cracked case. Uh, recased it for me, and then it's got a torque power um, LS bell housing. And then in the back, it's just got yes, your regular 307 disc gears. That's why it uh, gets tyres off with ease. Uh, it's also running the Astra uh, power steering pump. Um, after a lot of trial and error, I finally got it to hold that pressure line because that's the one that kept blowing off um, other than that it's got a little bit of work done in the back um, it's got these custom towers you, you can't really see it because I still haven't unloaded it um, so that's got R33 coilovers in it so there's one there and there's one over there um, it's just running a 6 litre fuel cell it's getting a auxiliary coolant tank which I actually have sitting just here thanks to uh, Michael, my mate Michael Chimenko for setting it up. Um, inside, uh, it's got your SAS steering wheel. It's got your Mako Motorsports custom gauge panel that was uh, 3D printed for me. And then he also put the gauge holes in there. That's why it all lines up all schmick. And then it's got me little uh, switch panel. And then me b and ratchet shifter. And then yeah, it's just got the uh, three inch exhaust built by uh, Augusta Undercar. Um, Colin has pretty much been with me since day dot. He helped me out with the VN originally and then he helped me do this one as well. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the VN. Now moving on to the Gemini. Um, in my previous video, I stated that this was a project and I mean that quite literally. Um, the reason that I have this car is because when I originally bought my VN Calais, um, this came as part of a package deal and uh, Jordan actually ended up with this one and I ended up with the VN. Uh, after about two years of it sitting out at uh, his house, I said, oh, how much do you want for that Gemini? Because I, I want to get, I want, I want another Gemini because back in the day, um, when I was 17, I built a yellow TG SLX. Um, I genuinely, genuinely miss that car. I'm not going to get it back, though, because uh, it got defected, and then I sold it for way too cheap, and now the bloke that's got it now won't sell it back. So I've got this one. Uh, it's still yellow. The one that I built was canary yellow. Uh, this one is tulip yellow, so it's a slightly different colour. Um, you can see just up here, it's got a little bit of a paint fade going on. Um, guess that happens with a 40 year old paint but you get that um, this motor came out of a TF that I bought as a parts car 
and it has so much blow by it fills up the entire rocker cover so that's got to come out and i've got a g200z out of a rodeo that's going into it with a five speed um but that's like a later project um it's also missing the blower motor and uh set up from that i've got a new coil for it I've got, i'm getting a battery for it um yeah, as you can tell by all the dirt sitting just in there, my shed leaks. Um, got to fix that little bit of surface rust just up there. Uh, I've stripped most of the interior. Still got the back seat in it because I couldn't be asked pulling it out. Um, this is the first Gemini I've ever owned after owning, I think this is my seventh, um, that it doesn't actually have any rust holes in the, around the front window. It's got a little bit of surface rust just here, but that's bit of wire wheeling and should be back to mint. Um, I pulled the dash out because the loin that was in it, someone had chopped an aftermarket uh, alarm in it and then I couldn't get it to, to actually start. So the dash is currently sitting on the roof and as you can see, the dash pad has seen better days. Um, fixed a little bit of rust back here. Um, I still got to fix this bit here just because there was a rust hole just here, I fixed that. Don't mind that, that's just spray bog that's coming off anyway. Um, that was a speaker at one point, was, uh, I've got a new coil sitting there, I've got a new filter, new leads, um, I re I, eventually I want to get a TG rear bar and tail lights, because I'm not a big fan of the TE rear lights, um, I also just realised that I forgot to mention what it is, it is a 1981 TE SL Gemini. So, TE. So yeah, that's that's the uh, the plan with the Gemini. It's getting a two liter, and then I'm gonna either paint it back to this yellow color because it's actually fairly straight, or paint it white, or primer and clear. But uh, yeah, just let me know what uh, what you suggest with the paint color because I'm stumped. I've got no idea. So yeah, that's the Gemini. And now finally, the one that probably no one's been waiting for, my 1975 VJ Valiant Wagon. Um, I ended up buying this car after leaving my previous employment of nine years. I got a fairly hefty uh, pro rata payout, so I decided that I was gonna buy myself a nice cruiser, um, and I ended up buying this. So this is a 75 VJ, like I just said. And uh, you probably can't really see, but it's got a 245 Hemi in it. Um, it did have a single barrel carb on it that was gutless. So I pulled that one off and put a two barrel on it. Now it's got a little bit better throttle response, not by much, but it's better. Um, it's got a little bit, of, a little bit of rust in the tailgate and a little bit in the... Um, channels in the roof but nothing that's not overly uh hard to fix it did come with like your, your weird doggy looking mirrors and then i put the chrome ones on there um the rims were black when i got it and then i bought the center caps and the dress rings and then painted the wheels silver so now it looks a whole lot better it's also got brand new tires as well uh, when i bought it it had a charger steering wheel on it so the previous owner wants the the steering wheel back so i put a genuine uh vj wheel on it with a new um button horn button that's the word that i was looking for um it's also got a aftermarket head unit put in it now i know that's not going to be a valent purist dream but it came with a rate it came with an aftermarket system in it already and i like having music while i drive um, not that the 245 doesn't sound good, but I also like having music. So it's got Alpine Type S speakers in all four corners. So it's got two in the front doors and two in the rear. And then it's got a um, fairly hefty 3000 watt sub in the boot. So uh, all this dirt on the roof um, likes to bounce. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much my uh, project walk around. Um, if I had my other project car here, it would be my drift car. Uh, that's a 1990 VN sedan. Um, and as you saw in the previous clip, I tend to drink a lot of Red Bull. 
Um, so I ended up painting it like a big Red Bull can. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, let us know what you want, what you think I should do with the uh, the Gemini. Should I go turbo? Should I leave it NA? Uh, should I put, try and put Webbers on it? Um, what colour I should paint it? All that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, that's all I got for today. Just a quick one, pretty much. Um, see you uh, in the next one.